Hi, I'm Daniel Barron, Director of Winemaking for Silver Oak Cellars, and I'd like to take you on a tour of our Napa Valley and Alexander Valley estate vineyards. This is our Oakville Winery, the home of our Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. This is the original site of Silver Oak Cellars, where in 1972, Ray Duncan and Justin Meyer purchased a dairy barn on Oakville Crossroad in Oakville and began making wine. They eventually constructed a winery in the early 80s, which was rebuilt into this beautiful facility which opened to the public in October of 2008. In the process of this new construction, much attention was given to applying best practices to all aspects of winemaking, crushing, fermenting, barrel storage, and bottling. We also greatly improved our ability to receive guests and host special events, as well as maximized sustainability and stewardship of natural resources. All this in a rustic and elegant setting. We're now traveling about 14 miles south to our Soda Canyon Ranch. This 113-acre vineyard was acquired by Silver Oak in 1999. It features selected French clones of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Merlot on deep volcanic soils and rolling hills. The topography has dictated that we divide this ranch into 36 distinct blocks that vary by rootstock, variety, clone, spacing, or row direction. The wines produced here are spectacular due to the mineral content of the volcanic soils and their excellent drainage and to the perfect location in the Napa Valley, close enough to San Pablo Bay to have its cooling influence, but not so close that the Bordeaux varieties wouldn't ripen fully. Merlots with great black cherry intensity, Cabernet Francs with notes of rose petals and roasted coffee, dark peppery Petit Verdot, and Cabernet Sauvignons with the bright expression of cassis and blackberry are the result. Moving from Soda Canyon, we travel northeast to arrive at our Jump Rock Vineyard, named for a favorite swimming hole of David and Tim Duncan, two of Ray's sons. We are due east of Oakville, and yet we're in very different weather conditions, almost a high desert climate. This area is above the valley fog during the summer months and therefore has a completely novel ripening pattern. The county soil maps don't even classify this as soil, but call it rocky outcroppings. With these rocky soils, farming is difficult, but the results are well worth it. The Cabernet Sauvignon wines produced from Jump Rock have great concentration and aromatic intensity with notes of ripe cassis and blackberries. They are rich and structured on the palate and have become an important contribution to the Napa Valley blend since we began purchasing the fruit in 2006. We acquired the vineyard in late 2007. We're now traveling from east of Oakville, northwest to the town of St. Helena, to the Navoni Vineyard on Fulton Lane. This is an area I call the St. Helena Plain. These are among the most historic vineyards of the Napa Valley. This particular property has been in the Navoni family since about 1915, and our late friend Ernie Navoni, who was born on the property, planted Cabernet Sauvignon here in the late 80s and early 90s. We farm this land for his sons David and Andy. It is planted on well-drained, bale, gravelly loam soil, and I believe that the fact that there have been vines in this ground for almost a hundred years really tames the vine vigor so that we have beautifully balanced Cabernet Sauvignon growing here. The wines that we produce from the Navoni Vineyard are some of our favorites every year. They balance depth, complexity, and elegance and fit beautifully into our Napa Valley blend. To go to Alexander Valley from the Napa Valley, we move in a northwest direction, traveling through Calistoga and Knights Valley. The first Silver Oak vineyard we come to from the south is our Redtail Ranch, named for the beautiful Redtail Hawks that circle on the updrafts over the vineyard. We could have named it Wild Boar Ranch for the wild critters we have to chase out periodically. 
This 44-acre vineyard is located off of Chalk Hill Road and is truly a mountain location. The soils are in the Felta and Spreckel series and are composed of sandy and gravelly loams. The vineyard was completely replanted between 1996 and 2003 to a mixture of UC Davis and French clones of Cabernet Sauvignon. We value the red tail wines for their acidity, brightness, and expression of strawberry and spice characters that have become an important component in our Alexander Valley blend. The pond also has some of the biggest catfish that I have ever seen. If we move down slope and resume our northwest path up Highway 128, we arrive at our Miraval Vineyard, which is in the very heart of the Alexander Valley Appalachian. This 80-acre vineyard is planted on gravelly loam soils on a gently sloping bench to the east of Highway 128. The name Miraval is a contraction of the Spanish words mirar, to look, and valle, valley, and was inspired by the fabulous view from the picnic area at the summit of the property. This ranch has been the backbone of our Alexander Valley blend since we acquired it in the late 1980s, and it is marked by a half-scale water tower that you pass when you're traveling along the highway. The Miraval wines balance ripeness and finesse, elegance and depth, and we prize this fruit so much that we also source grapes from a number of the neighboring properties. If we now move to the Highway 101 corridor and head north through the towns of Healdsburg and Geyserville, we come to Chianti Road and our Geyserville estate. Surrounding the winery, we have a 12-acre vineyard on largely serpentine soils. Serpentine soils are high in magnesium, very difficult to grow grapes on, but they produce very intense, very spicy wines that balance beautifully with the acidity and brightness of red tail, the depth and complexity of Miraval, and really contribute a special element to the Alexander Valley blend. This vineyard was replanted in 2008 and will soon be contributing again to the Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. The Silver Oak Geyserville Estate has been the home of our Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon since 1992. It is a complete estate winery where the wines are fermented, barrel-aged, and bottled. We have added extensive barrel-aging facilities over the years so that we have an excellent venue for making our Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. It also has a very comfortable tasting room consistent with the friendly and relaxed atmosphere of Northern Sonoma County, where I hope you will visit us soon. Thank you for sharing this vineyard tour with me and for enjoying the wines we lovingly produce at Silver Oak Cellars. On behalf of the vineyard and winery staff and the Duncan family, we drink a toast to you.